we need to generate self-signed certificates based on the key store we created. This key store enables TLS for the JCP. We export a self-signed certificate and then configure our two components, AWI and the agents, so they're able to communicate with AE securely. This is part one of the module on self-signed certs. Here we use the Atomic Automation file system for the setup. In the case of AWI, we update uc4config.xml, and in the case of the agents, we use the INI. In part two, we'll show how to use the Java Trust for, for Java-based components, like AWI and Java-based agents, and the native certificate management solution offered by both Windows and Unix for OS-based agents. Either option works, and it will be up to you to decide what works best for you. This module covers self-signed certificates and the required configuration of the components using the AA file system. We start with an automation engine which has been configured with TLS. We deployed the key store and so JCP is ready to communicate as long as the components are secure as well. We use the key store on the AE host to generate a self-signed certificate which we copy to the component hosts. In our case, AWI and the agents on the same remote system to keep the demo simple. We configure AWI, we use uc4config.xml and use the connections tag with trusted cert folder which points to the directory where the certificate has been stored. Then we start AWI and connect to the remote AE host. We do the same thing for the agents, we configure trusted cert folder in the INI and start the agents. This is our AE host. The JCP is started and ready to accept incoming secure connections. We're not concerned with AWI or the agents, since those will be configured on another system. We start Keystore Explorer and open our Keystore. We simply display the certificate chain details and exports. The location is an important since we're going to move it to the other host. Make sure you keep the X509 formats and the certificate has to have the PM option checked. Also, we recommend using the CRT extension. We have the AE host on the left side and the AWI and agent host on the right. We copied the certificate on the latter so it's now available. We focus on this host. First we configure AWI. Version 21 has an embedded Jetty application server, so Tomcat is no longer required. We've copied the web interface directory from the installation package and that's all that's required. We update uc4config.xml. The web interface can be started with the AA Web UI Launcher jar file. We'll get to this in a minute. First, we have to make sure that AWI points to the AE host. AWI is installed on the local host, so we'll use this machine's host name in the URL. But it's connecting to the CP on the AE host via secure connections established by ways of the JCP on port 8443. We can change the connections tag and indicate the trusted cert folder in which we stored our certificate. When AWI starts, it uses the certificate to establish a secure connection with the JCP on the remote host.
Since we didn't install Service Manager on this machine, we prepared a script to start AWI. We invoke the A Web UI launcher via Java. While AWI starts, we can launch a browser. We navigate to the local host and use Client 0 and UC 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 to show that we're able to access AE. Let's make sure there isn't any ambiguity. We're using the 8080 ports and not 8088 because we're not securing the connection between your endpoints and AWI. Those types of SSL connections are possible and they've been part of AWI configuration for many versions prior. The TLS implementation secures connections between AWI and AE. AWI starts, which in and of itself does not prove that TLS is properly set up. We won't know until we're firmly logged into AE. For the agent, we follow essentially the same process. We reference the certificate in the agent's INI file. We search for the authorization section and indicate the location of the trusted cert folder. Once the certificate is deemed valid during the TLS handshake, the agent is able to connect to AE. We have to add the host name of AE to the new connection parameter so that the agent can reach the JCP. We start the agent. If it's added to the AE configuration, it means TLS is properly configured.